hey guys it's jay here again welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be talking about how to live the life that you want in your 20s um this video is something that i would sort of be personalizing to myself because um of course i'm, I'm in my 20s and i feel like a lot of people are not living their best life in their 20s a lot of people are focused on the wrong things a lot of ladies guys in their 20s are just stressing over things that they should not even stress about in their 20s now i'm going to be giving you some of the tips that i think would help you live your best life in your 20s like live the life that you actually want not somebody else's life the life that you want let's go the very first tip is building up on your self-esteem um <laughs> self-esteem plays a very important role in how you see yourself how you relate to people how you relate around people how you relate to seeing your peers either on social media or in gatherings or whatnot your self-esteem basically is how you see yourself how you carry yourself how you feel now if your self-esteem is messed up that you're not even one step to living your best life in your 20s honestly because self-esteem plays an important role in how we see ourselves it plays an important role in how we value ourselves how we carry ourselves now um i know that there are people out there whose self-esteem has been messed up okay see i was once there my growing up sort of messed with my self-esteem but when i as i was growing i um realized these things now some people do not realize that their self-esteem has been messed up and they need to put in like a lot of work to build up their self-esteem however some discover it's just the way i did i discovered that my self-esteem was mm, and i was not feeling myself i did not like the way i was looking i did not like um I did not like how I was looking like chubby, fat and all of that. I it's not like I didn't like the way I was looking. I mean I was comfortable with the way I looked, but the people around me always, always, always talked about my weight, talked about how I was fat, how I was big, I was the one wearing the biggest size of clothes, like when uh, we all go shopping and all of that how i'm the one who is always wearing the biggest size of clothes you know how before they can get my trouser size is war you know and all and like there were people aunties even strangers that we just talk about your weight you're you're co i'm coming back from work randomly and you're seeing somebody calling you and you're seeing somebody calling me horrible like things like that just sort of mixed with my self-esteem but it got to a point i had to tell myself that see yo if you don't work on this thing then nobody's going to help you work on it so i realized what i wanted i realized that i was more than what people were saying i realized that there was more to me like my sins i have sins you know <laughs> i realized that i have sins like it's not really about how i look it's not really about the clothes i wear it's not really about finding the size of my clothes and all of that it's just really about me like the inner me the peace of mind that comes with settling with the fact that this is me and nobody can be me and i can just be me like like any other person can give 10 f's you know <laughs> any other person can go to hell you know i'm going to be me and the moment i decided on that i started working on my self-esteem now um there was a time that i put out a video that i was going to be cutting down on my weight and all of that and that's not because i made that decision not because um there were people pestering me and saying all sorts of things about my ways i made that decision because i wanted to i made that decision because elsewise it was advisable for me too okay not because somebody else was not because of somebody else's opinion basically okay so all i'm saying is look look out for what just works for you look out for what can bring your self-esteem up. look out for how you can build your self-esteem back if you need to get help please get help from somebody that you trust somebody that you can be accountable to somebody that can guide you that can help you when you feel down you can talk to the person and all of that because your self-esteem 
same plays an important role in living your best life okay and the second tip that i have on living the life that you want in your 20s is focusing less on social media see social media is a borrowed space let me just tell you a social media is a is a um i like to say like you see what i want you to see yeah you see what i want you to see okay so look at this video right now <laughs> you guys would not believe the mess that is here like in this whole space because i had to film this look i had to do my makeup i had to do like um content for my instagram page you know and what's not before i even started filming this video so you guys you cannot want to like you can't even imagine the mess that is going on around here but it is what i want you to see it is what i want to be in the frame of my camera that i'm allowing you guys to see so just think of social media like that really social media is just what that the aspect of their lives that they want you to see so when you focus on social media when you see your peers that are doing really well quote and unquote yeah i mean we do really well like legit real life and all of that but bro don't focus yourself don't focus on social media you know there were times that I'm, i i was always on social media i was always looking at oh who's traveling who is getting an iphone this who is buying a car who is building a house whose parents are doing this whose parents are doing that and i call myself i say yo baby girl <laughs> how are you sure that all these things that you are seeing are you sure that they are real how are you sure that they are real how are you sure that it's not for the gram like some people will say are you sure that it's not for the gram so please stop focusing on social media i'm saying don't go on social media don't interact with people and what's not that's not what i'm saying all i'm saying is don't put don't pay too much attention to things that you see thus again it's a borrowed space now Thank the third you. tip that i have to live in the life that you want in your 20s is having multiple streams of income i cannot emphasize over emphasize this now having multiple streams of income sort of <laughs> it sort of empowers you it sort of puts you in a place where you can afford things that your peers are supposedly able to afford having multiple streams of income helps you to live that life that you want helps you to afford things that you want those makeup products that you want that dress that you want from people leave things or oh, your friends are doing sheen all and you've never done a sheen haul on your on your channel a multiple stream of income will help you do that okay like you want to go out with friends you want to have dinner you want to be able to buy yourself a really nice birthday present and all of that just the way some people are doing right just the way your friends are doing just the way your peers are doing just the way your people in your age group or people that are not even in your age group are doing and you're wondering <laughs> like i'm even older than this girl and she's doing this she's doing that like yo why can't why, why, why can't i do that like why can't i do things like this at my age you know that sort of thing let's not lie it's me and you eh? these thoughts actually come to your aid come to my aid yes because I'm, I'm speaking about these things based off of experience based off of what i have gone through okay and really because i have more than one stream of income i can do things that i want to do like that i am capable of doing take for instance this apartment here you guys don't even want to know the backstory to this because everything here like me wanting to move out of my parents house was war <laughs> it was serious war so they did not give me a dime yeah everything this apartment how i got it how i set it up i used my money my money and that's because and yeah of course i got like a little support from my friends and what's not but it was majorly my money okay and imagine that i did not have multiple streams of income you guys i won't be able to afford this place i won't even be able to set it up to the extent that it is i would not be able to afford my three square meal by the way i don't even have a job yet and like i'm living my baby girl life i'm not there yet let's be clear i'm getting there but however it's safe to say that i can afford the things that i want it's safe to say that i can go out if i want to go out i can order for whatever it is that i want if i think it is important at that point in time so giving you having multiple streams of income just 
it makes you a boss yeah it makes you a boss so please whatever it is that you do make sure that you do not just have one stream of income like <sighs> don't sis don't bro don't okay. now the fourth tip on how to live the life that you want in your 20s is do what makes you happy hey can you hear me <clears throat> Do what makes you happy. See, happiness eh, it has a way of making you glow. <laughs> glow, baby. Hey, somebody call me Gloria. Gloria. Hey. Happiness has a way of making you glow. Happiness has a way of making your face change. Happiness radiates in your character, radiates in how you treat people, how you relate with people. Just do what makes you happy. See, I cannot say what makes you happy. I only know what makes me happy. And so far, baby girl, I've been doing what makes me happy for the for the past two, three months now. I've been doing what makes me happy, irrespective of anybody's opinion, thoughts on how I should do things, on how I should live my life, on the steps that I should take and what's not. Do what freaking makes you happy because it is your life and nobody is living your life for you. See, these people that are going to be giving you opinions and judging you and saying all sorts, they probably lived their life, okay? They're probably elderly ones, like let's even assume that they're in your age group. Well, that's their life. That's your life. This is your life, okay? This is your what? This is your life. So please take your happiness seriously. I beg you. I don't I don't I, I don't know. I also say this, say this, but your happiness is priority. Your happiness is key. Can you hear me? The last but not the least tip that I'll be giving. In fact, I would not finish talking about all of these things without mentioning. Involve God in everything that you do. <laughs> Fun fact here. I am not the most religious person that you will find on this on, on on my street or in my apartment, like in my building and all of that, or in a gathering. I am not the most religious person, but see, I have a relationship with God. I have a relationship with Allah. If you are religious, by the way, okay. If you are religious, I have a relationship with a supreme being, really, because see, you guys. Like I said, I'm not the most treacherous, okay? I'm not the the spotless, sinless child of God, okay? But yo, the way God has come through for me in the last three months, I'm blown away. I am freaking blown away. Like I cannot imagine if he had not been God, if he had not if God had not allowed all of this to happen, <laughs> I'll be nowhere really. I would be nowhere. In fact, I'm, I'm even saying in the last three months, in the last three years, let's just like, let's go all the way back. In the last three years, God has come true for this baby girl that you see here. God has come true for me so freaking many times. And sometimes I just sit down and I'm like, I'm not even worthy like like god i'm grateful but i'm not even worthy of all these things that you do for me yes you still like in your mercy you still do all these things for me now i'm not asking you to be pastor or imam or or the pope or catholic and all of that all i'm just saying is involve god in everything you do you know like it could be something as simple as saying just a word of prayer. I don't know how Muslims pray, but I'm sure there's a way you could say a word of prayer, like a short word of prayer. You know, fun fact is, sometimes when I wake up, I get carried away with the activities of the day and things that I have to do that all I can, all I can just say is, um, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you for my family. Thank you. Like, I just say a very short prayer within a minute. And you guys, that's really it for me. That's just all I have to say. And throughout that day, God will just keep doing things that just only He can do. So, in whatever you do, please, in all of these things, involve God in everything you do if you are a religious person. Okay, so those are the tips that I have for you. I hope I found this video really helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay.